Halloween YouTuber, this is Dan Michael from Squiddy Productions, bring you, bring you a new podcast in my segment called The Circus in Time Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to be so hard during this audio podcast recording, not to cause any audio feedback as well. So anyway, let's get into the latest ever, uh, uh, the latest episode of Zoranda, the Halloween episode. Now, 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 the latest episode starts like this on the on board the Death Alien ship with me, like you know, like well, well, well not uh, Nadia, Nadia Zara and Combine, and not to get into this talking about how uh, you know, talking about Bungalow, you know, issue Jonathan, <laughs> talking about you know, there's a thing, you know, talking about Bungalow as he got destroyed by the Jurons, and they knew, and they and they knew Negro for for a nation, but Nadia. Not even like you know, who, not even like we're gonna do with the data, data on Key Rail, but like you know, don't worry, the data they collected on Key Rail and whatnot. He said, like, don't worry, it will be used in the time. And Karma said, Karma, and Karma said, Karma was like, which green to green what Master Guinness said, but uh, on those to Master Guinness. <laughs> on the road to Mass Guinness, Car- Carbine had the hand that that Bungley used to to be, you know, make make people's you know, make people's you know, people's memories come to life was his new hand. So he cut off his own hand and put on Bungley's hand that he that Bungley used to make every time he touched somebody and he make the person's memory come to life. So basically no Nobody noticed. Noticed. So basically, he must he have something, uh, something evil plan for plan to get mass again. So anyway, meanwhile, we see the other zoo owners. <laughs> We see all the zoo owners, you know, you know, with chopping bags and stuff, and we're about to head back in to Yamato, uh, to Yamato's Uncle Mario house, and, and, and when they start on these Halloween, these Halloween decorations, and this big Halloween, this, this big, this big time for a Halloween, for a Halloween festival, uh, carnival festival. Anyway, and so basically, so basically, I'm a toss, Armata, Selma, and Leo was like, you know, what is Halloween? Like Halloween is a, a special, a special holiday when people would dress up, dress up, dress up, and go, you know, go to shooting and stuff. So basically, so basically, you know, after Yamato and and Mondo explained it, it's like you know, well, you know, they 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 were. We all want to go, you know, go, let's go, let's go to the Halloween festival. But such a task, such a task, he, he thought it's kind of like a stupid idea. So anyway, so anyway, these three, anyway, these two kids, the little boy is, the little boy and this girl, this little girl with big character glasses were, was walking, minding their business until they met this weird, this, this new death alien officer has to be caught in Main carnival, so it starts to attack. Now this is sort of different, <laughs> sort of different, sort of different type of monster. So the little boy who's with the little girl with glasses finally like a little bitch, who's been bitching and left, and left, left, left her, left her, left her friend, left her friend all by herself still with the monster. So anyway, touch. Plus, my to my to save the girl with glasses, and you know, took her to us, and took her to a safe place, and that's one. And took her to a safe place. Now, now this comical monster has a weird ability. Turns out he has fire attacks. But every time he orders to activate his fire attacks, attack, he has to do a, he does the key ranger dance. Every time he dances, he always says, do, 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 do. like, what the, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I, I'm not bullshitting. Every time this monster activates his fire attacks, he always does the key ranger to, to, to finishing dance to activate his fire attacks. 
Honestly, I am not once again. I say it again. I'm not bullshitting. The monster actually, the order to this monster to actually is fire attacks. It has to do with the kill induced to transmission dance, dance, and the order to actually hit fire attack. I'm not. I'm not bullshitting. I was expecting that. I was expecting me and one of the kill induced to show up like blue or some shit, but. It, but unfortunately, trust me, there was another the kill we did to appear in this episode. So anyway, so after doing some damage to the kill rangers, you know, it is, but the monster didn't really get any damage to the kill rangers, but it, it attacked them, it attacked them, and just, let, and just, and just left. Laugh and laugh. So basically, uh, so basically, it was just like it was, it was just a like two minute, a two minute little you know, fight scene with the what the Zoomers and the monster. That's about it. So anyway, so now. <coughs> Right now, the little girl, the little girl that Tuck said we found her, or found her, her found her, found her, her friend, his friend, her friend, and told him that you're a cow, cow. I don't, I don't deal with cow. I found me somebody else who appreciate who. Oh, I, that I want to take me to the Halloween carnival. That happened to be Tuck. So the next day, Tuck got stuck in, stuck in, got stuck in, stuck in, stuck in, stuck armor to go shopping again. Since he was go, you know, since he was going out anyway. So very, very wise. So basically, he walked by the same area, by the same place where he said the girl again. The girl, the girl was like, the girl was there, saw him and it's like. Oh, oh, you listen, you listen to who's saying it, who's saying it. So basically, Tuck is like, you know, not knowing what to do. He brought, he brought the girl back to Uncle Mario, to Uncle says Uncle Mario house. He's like, you know, and the other, well, the rest of the two arms as well. So basically, <laughs> So basically, so basically, so basically, so basically, the girl asked Tuck to Tuck to come to come to the Halloween carnival with her. So basically, so basically, Tuck Tuck was not want to go, but I'm convinced convinced Tuck, you know, to take her. You know, to, to you know, to take her to the ha Halloween carnival. So basically, that's when Uncle Mario came in. He's like, "What? Like, we're wondering why this girl was hugging on Tots." He said, "Oh," and that's when Leo, Leo said, "Oh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this girl to the to the Halloween carnival." And like, and Uncle Mario said, "All right, all right," and you know, all right, and, you know, and, and he just was. Went into his into into his workshop like like you know like like things were normal. So anyway, so anyway, you want to what? So the you want to so so the you want to went to what Halloween shopping for costumes? Yamato was a pumpkin. Thelma was a witch. Alma was Ch was Charlie Chaplin. Leo was a was a French maid. Tuck was Tuck and the girl Tuck was a prince. The girl was a princess. And as for as for Mano, he was a ghost. Go. So anything. So basically, everything was going. Everything was going very well. You know, Tuck was trying to get into the spirit of Halloween. You know, into into the spirit of Halloween for the girl's sake when she went. When she, you know, when she went to go get to, uh, go to go to the bath, go to the bathroom, she, when she came back, she saw, you know, like, you know, I'm always talking to us, like, you know, we were trying to make it more better, uh, make a more better effort. So basically, when the girl came back, she thought, she thought that, so Alma was trying to start to steal tough for her. So basically, so basically the girl got jealous and tried to try to you know to get Alma away from Tosh. So basically, 
So basically, the girl took the, uh, took arm away from the how do we call it away far away to touch, and that's when the monster came back again after getting his ass kicked by Zoro, trying to you know, to put up a better fight and shit. So the so the monsters, so the so the other monsters were fighting the carnival destiny monster while 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 Amo was with the little girl. But she basically felt the presence of the Destiny monster, and she told him, and she told her, like, you know, we ain't touch just friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's no need to be just, you know, touch just, you know, basically, you know, telling her that there's no type of a love relationship between her and, 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 and Tuck. So basically, she went, she went to go and join the others. But this, but this time around, her monster kicked this. Shit out of him. He, 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 he kicked the shit out of him. Kicked the shit out of him. He's still doing the keyword to dance uh, and force him to be more. So, well, um, well Alma showed up. He showed up. He showed up. He showed up. The little girl followed uh, Alma uh, 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 to the battlefield and, and she showed the, she showed the uh, uh, all morphed up into their ranger forms. This time around, when they morphed up, Yamato used the whale gun and morphed into a whale ranger form with the, with the teamwork, with the devil with some teamwork, they basically take down the, the colonial monster once and for all. The little girl was watching the whole thing, and she was amazed of how, how Amo how uh, made how armor for 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 uh, armor fighting style and stuff stuff like that. So anyway, so anyway, they used the the real change gun to final final tactics for the color master. But as usual, Nadia showed up, put the coin inside the monster, and made the monster grow. So basically, they suffered the the children, the white, the white son of the king Megazord, and did it by the and finally destroyed the Kamado monster. So basically, so basically, so while was headed back to the Halloween carnival, like Tuskers, like you know, you know, I was wrong about you know about Halloween. Halloween is not bad, you know. So, so, so I was trying to make a better epic, you know, you know, you know, to get the, the girl a, the, you know, a minute uh, a, a, a perfect day at the Halloween carnival. So the little girl came, came running towards her. Uh, so anyway, the girl who got it came, came running. So, so, so it's not fortunate that the girl was going to run into his arms, but instead, she went run into armor. Uh, armor guard, she said, oh my, you awesome. Uh, I will, I like you to be my, uh, be my date, uh, you know, be my, uh, be my date for the Halloween carnival. It was kind of awkward and tough, and tough, and that's when touch they a Mondo and he went into a ball. It's like, and Mondo said, I know how you feel. I know how just how you feel. And that's in touch. She said, No, you don't. No, you don't. It's, it's start to, it's start to yell at Mondo. And this is how the episode ended on a funny note. So basically, this was not a bad Halloween episode. Oh, this is. This was an was a okay episode for a Halloween episode. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, this is Susan Michael. Hello, one.